we're, we're the Slowinskis. I'm Bob. This is. I'm Kate. Lilia. Megan. Noah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, guys, for our interview. I'm so glad that. We have stuff to do, so. <laughs> I'm so glad that you guys joined us and so glad that we're able to uh, to do this. It's really exciting to get to hear from all of our families each and every week. I'm so glad that we can uh, still see everybody and still um, you know get to get to do this with people. So I'm really glad that uh, the Solinskis have joined us. And if you are watching this and you are interested in being part of this family interview, uh, you are more than willing to join us. Uh, just go ahead and shoot me an email and I will get you next on the list uh, to join us. With that, uh, how about let's go first to the kids. Um, Isaac and Lily and Noah, what has it been like to do distance learning? What's been like the best thing, but what's also been like the hardest or like the worst thing so far? Again, longer. Cousins? More breaks. <laughs> more breaks, yes. That's what I've heard from a lot of kids. There's lots more breaks. Okay, let me ask you guys this. Uh, when you do your schoolwork, does it take you all day to do your schoolwork, or does it just take you like an hour or two? Uh -uh. No. <laughs> it takes like me half an hour to an hour. It takes you half an hour to an hour? Yeah. It either takes one hour. We start at, one hour? yeah, we start at like, like nine hours. and then we go to 11. Oh, uh, Noah, how about you? You're in middle school and your school's a little bit different. Does it take you an hour or does it take you longer? It takes two hours. Okay, it takes two hours. Nice. All right. So I would say out of an eight hour school day, one hour of school is a pretty good trade off for not having to be at school, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's been the hardest thing for the online learning, the distance learning? Isaac barging in in the middle of a meeting. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> I would think that would be kind of hard thing to do. How is it not being able to see your friends in class every day? Oh, that's, that's fine. I can just, that's I can just, my mom, that's fine. my mom to take me over to my friend's house. Oh, I see. I see. Do you guys get to, do you guys like work with your classmates like online, like with your friends uh, over like Zoom or oh, no. no? But I do meetings with my class. You do meetings with your class? So Bob and Megan, I don't I was just talking to the horses this week. I don't think that there is ever a point in your lives where you thought your kids would say, Mom, Dad, I have to go hop on a Zoom meeting really quick or like I have to go get a meeting or like how do I share my screen? Like all that kind of stuff. Like we we're just talking, like it's so crazy that that's like the business world has entered into into the school world and like they're masters at Zoom and masters at online video conferencing and all it's just crazy. It's never, yeah, for, the, for them to have to say. For them to have to say, sorry, we got a conference call. We'll get right back. Yeah, I have my own in-house IT department sitting right next to me here. <laughs> yeah. When Lilia is having trouble on her iPad or something, I'm like, no, I just come fix it. Yeah. No, it's good that you're smart with that kind of stuff because I think right now every every single family needs somebody like that. You have you have done that for your family, so it's a good thing. Clearly, Noah cannot fix a camera. Hardware. Yeah, sounds like a sore point, but we won't we won't talk about that. Well, uh, for you, Megan, how has it been um, with all of a sudden now being a teaching supervisor slash teacher slash making sure all the kids are on track, uh, you know, five days a week, eight hours a day, now that they're home, not at school. What has it been like that change from having them gone to school all day to having them home all day? I'm not a teacher. I never wanted to be. Um, I was always like doing like the after school stuff. So, you know, there's been times they've gotten kicked out of the house and I'm just like, go play soccer, go find something to do, go climb a tree. Um, we'll, we'll figure that out later. Um, there's been times where, you know, Noah's needed help. And if it's math, we have to wait for Bob to get home. And if it's anything else, like if it's English or writing, then yeah, I can help you. 
if it's Isaac or Lilia with math, I can still do that. <laughs> so, you know, and I've had to add in social studies and science a little bit. So, you know, we've had to do some searching on TV um, <laughs> just to find things to do. So it's, I fully admit that I've wanted to expel a couple of them and I've pretty much tried to fire myself a couple of times too. Like, <laughs> That's what I've heard from a lot of families has been, it's hard because like even, even though you know what your kids are like when they're home, you know, during the school year, you only have to deal with them after school when they've gotten a lot of the energy out. And so you're not usually dealing with some of that, you know, waking up in the morning, not wanting to do school and then like bugging each other for eight hours straight. And all of a sudden you're like, okay, you, you go outside, like you're, you stay in here and do your work. You go outside and do like whatever to blow up some steam and then come back in and like, let's reset and start over for a little bit. Right. They're used to being separated for eight hours. <laughs> right. And they're not now. And yeah. there's been more arguing about things than uh -huh. ever before. And now here comes summer. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, exactly. It's like it's now it does not stop. Usually a little bit of like summer's like a little welcome reprieve. And now it's like, well, it'd actually, be nice if, if school started back up again just about now. That'd be that'd be great. Mm -hmm. Get the kids back. Bob, how's it for you? Um, are you? I th I assume you're still going to the office and uh, yep. and and working hard. And I mean, what has it been? You know, has it been busy? Has it been less busy? Has it been some of the same? You know, what what's kind of changed for you, or is it kind of business as usual? Well, it's been just as busy. Um, you know, going to work all day. Coming back, I mean, I try to do as much of the shopping or anything like that just to, to help out. Megan still goes out, but, um, you know, just try to get out and take care of everything that needs to get taken care of. But, yeah, it's still working. Uh, it's busy there, so it's pretty crazy. I know, you know, I think that's the thing that I talk to everybody about. It's it's so weird because there's they'll be like, uh, like, for example, like the Shills. Like, Jill is teaching online, so she's at home all day. But then Joe's still going into his work and he's working, you know, his regular hours. And he's like, it's crazy because he's like, it's just weird because of the difference between the two professions. Normally everybody's at work all day, no matter what. And now it's like somebody's home all day, and, but he's still going to work. And it just, it's just kind of weird, honestly. That's, that's what it comes down to. So um, what has been for all of you guys, what has been one thing that you have either learned or relearn about God, about church, um, about anything related to that. It could be something new, something rediscovered. Who wants to go first? Not me. <laughs> Not me. One of these two. One of these two. Uh, well, we started going through it, kind of learning uh, about how David started. Uh, as, a, as a kid and then with Goliath and then kind of went through his uh, almost his whole life um, and it's just kind of cool to see how um, and the choices he made and, and Saul made and we all kind of try to apply it to our lives um, and just to see how the choices we make really do affect more than just ourselves and it affects a lot of people um, so that was kind of cool that we could spend the time together uh, just learning through that David's life and everybody around him. Yeah, I think, you know, Bob, one thing that everybody has said to me, I've called them when I've done these video interviews, is it's so nice to finally have time because, you know, we always say, oh, we don't have enough time to do this, we don't have enough time to do that, we don't have enough time to sit down and do a study together as a family, we don't have enough time for that, you know, we have so much stuff going on, and now it's like, there, you know, there, there is no excuse to not be doing stuff like that because we, you know, all we have is time. And so it's so encouraging to hear that you guys are doing that. You're sitting down as a family and just learning. And, and yeah, I mean, that's, that's encouraging to me and hopefully that's encouraging to people that are watching because I know other families are trying to do the same thing. And, you know, I think there's something special to when we can sit down together as a family and learn together because everybody brings their own unique perspectives instead of just one of us sitting down and reading something. You know, when we come together, we all bring, oh, hey, I didn't see that. Oh, hey, I didn't see that. Oh, yeah, that makes sense because, yeah, I didn't think about it as a, as a nine year old or as a 10 year old. I, I thought about it as, you know, a 30 or 40 year old. So it, it makes a total difference. So that's, that's really encouraging to hear. 
Anybody else want to share anything that you've learned, anything that you've relearned? Um, I've just been putting, I try to do it every like week, week and a half, uh, changing different verses for the kids um, up on one of the chalkboards in the kitchen. And right now I put up the, the fruits okay. of the spirit. So no good Goodness, faithfulness, greatness, and self-control. Well, they kind of have it, but love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So, that one's like peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, greatness, and self-control. Yeah. 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 Probably all some things that you guys could work on when you're at home all day with your siblings. Something that we could all work on when we're home all day with our family members, probably. For those of us that are home all day or spending more time, those are all definitely some very good things to work on. So that's, that's encouraging to hear, Megan, too, because it's just, you know, it's small things like that. You know, it's like it takes, what, five minutes to, to change it every day, and just write something up there, and you just see it every day, and you go, you know what, I need to, I need to strive for that. I need to work for it, get better at some of those things. And that's, that's so encouraging to hear. That's, that's so good. Uh, what's one thing for you guys that you've seen either in your neighborhood, you're out and about, um, what's one thing that you've seen that's been encouraging to you, you've either seen somebody else do what you guys have done um, in a community neighborhood, you're driving around, whatever it is? Can you repeat that one? Yeah, <laughs> you broke up a little that. bit. No, that's okay. Uh, what's one thing that you guys have seen that's been encouraging, either in your neighborhood, uh, you're out and about, you know, driving around, or just something you've seen somebody else do, even if it's been somebody online, what's something that's been encouraging to you guys? Um, we have a family that lives down the street that um, they, at, at Easter time, they put, what was it, like 15 or? Like 15, 15 eggs. 15 eggs in other families' yards. And then they just put uh, like a note card, you know, and they taped it to your, your door and said, you know, yeah. happy Easter, you know, go hunt your eggs, you know. <laughs> and, um to a local church and we talked to them before and um they gave us they what they gave us like this like mario track yeah so you know just things that they were thinking about like um you know that they didn't know all the families that were you know on our block but they did it for all the yeah. families that they knew had small kids that's, you know, it's, and so, I don't know, that, that really... It's been great to see families and neighbors come together and do things like that, just because I think, like, in our, in our lives, when we're so busy, we don't take time to, like, talk to our neighbors necessarily as much as we probably should, or just get to know them, and, like, things like that, or it's so small, but it's, yeah, it's so powerful, it's so effective. That's, that's so good to hear. That's, I wish... I wish we we could have done our Easter hunt somehow, but it was obviously not meant to be, and, and we'll find other ways to, to do fun things like that. But yeah, no, that's that's encouraging to hear. So that's it's always always good to hear stories like that. Anybody else in the Swinsky family have anything else that you guys want to share? Anything else that's encouraging about something that? Last I'm so sorry. I don't, uh, I don't know what happened, but it's still recording. So I'll just, we'll just, uh, we'll just splice it together, whatever, however it ends up being. So sorry about that, guys. Um, okay. So we'll, we'll, we'll just. Uh, no, it's okay. It's just we were uh, you're, you're very complicated. Yeah. All right. Well, we should be back. We should be good. We're back on the highway. So, um, so yeah. So uh, Easter egg hunt, very encouraging. Good to hear that. Does anybody else have anything else that you guys have seen? heard about, done, anything like that? Mm -hmm. Honestly, anybody? Our cousin like, had big bag candy and gave like 
and throw it in our, like, they put it in our yard. And we got, like, 10 pieces of candy. <laughs> That's so like 20. Candy, candy is always encouraging. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, they like to get, they like to get that, that Um No, you know, I, I that we also got a, a, a note in our, on our door. Um, I think it might have been that same family or, or it might have been somebody else, but just encouraging, like when this whole thing kind of came up, just saying, hey, you know, we have some older kids that I think their kids are like 12 and up. Yeah. Uh, just offering, hey, if anybody needs any help throughout this time when kids are at home, um, you know, would be happy to do it. If you need, you know, dogs need to be walked or kids, just anything. Um, they just wanted the people in the neighborhood to know that they were there for other people, um, no matter what the needs were. And I thought that was pretty cool. Um, yeah. Just, to, it's encouraging to see that, you know, there's other people out there wanting to help. Um, and in the circumstances, it's nice. Yeah, no, that's, that's fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's been so good to see everybody coming around each other and really helping each other. And, you know, Rosie and I were talking, we're saying, you know, we, we, we so hope that at the end of this all, we're going to come out of this. And everybody's going to keep doing some of these same things they've been doing because hopefully it's, it's creating new rhythms, new patterns in people's lives. They'll keep being encouraging to people. They'll keep helping each other out. They'll keep checking in on each other. And, you know, hopefully it'll be, It'll be a good thing, and then, you know, we'll see. Time, time will tell. Time will tell. So, well, hey, it's been good to hear from you guys, and thank you guys so much for doing this. And uh, even though despite the technical difficulties, we'll splice it all together, and, uh, and we'll make it work. But seriously, thank you guys so much, and hopefully uh, we will see each other together again soon. You know, we don't know exactly when that will be, but uh, wow. we'll just, uh It'll be someday in the future. So it's good to see you guys. Good to see all of you. Hope you have a good rest of your day. And uh, thanks again so much for taking the time to do the video interview. We'll see you guys later.